Welcome to ElectronLine. With this video, we're starting a new series, a new playlist in electrical engineering. Mainly, we're going to talk about circuit analysis, but specifically circuit analysis on sinusoidal circuits. Now, what are sinusoidal circuits? Well, they're circuits that have voltage sources and current sources that alternate in time. They're also sometimes called alternating circuits for that very reason. And since the the shape of the alternation of the voltage and the current is typically a sinusoidal curve. They also call it, of course, sinusoidal voltages and currents. And with those kind of circuits, or, and with those kind of sources, and then apply to circuits where the components are either in series or in parallel, and typically in combinations thereof, we need to come up with some good techniques to analyze the circuit. Analyzing a circuit typically means finding the voltages at various points in the circuit and finding the currents through all of the branches. So that's the objective of this playlist. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to assume that all the circuits uh, contain, let's see here, what I want to say is, um, oh, I didn't put it on the board. Well, what I want to say is that we want to consider these circuits in a steady state state. So what we want to make sure is that we don't have any transients because transients need to be applied or need to be analyzed in a very different way. Here we're going to assume that the circuit is in a steady state state and so all the currents and voltages are, as we would say, in a steady state. The strategy of solving this kind of circuit follows, is as follows. First, we're going to transform the circuit from a time domain to the frequency domain or the phasor domain. Now, in this case, we already have everything expressed in terms of the frequency domain or the phasor domain. Notice that we have the resistance, we have the inductance or the, react the inductive reactance and the capacitor reactance, and also the sources, the voltage and the current source, are indicated in the time domain or no, I should say in the frequency domain, not in the time domain. After you've transformed, so in this case we don't need to make the transformation, we'll show you some examples how to do that, but once you have it in this format, then you're going to use one of the following techniques to solve the circuit. And of course we're going to show you examples for each of these techniques. And then finally, once you have the, the solution, then you want to transform back into the time domain. So the techniques that we're going to touch upon in this particular series is the nodal analysis, the mesh analysis, the superposition theorem, the source transformation technique, the Thevenin equivalent, and the Norton equivalent techniques. So here again, we've seen these before in an earlier series, but not in sinusoidal circuits. So there we did it with DC circuits. You will find out that doing this with alternating or sinusoidal circuits is quite a bit more difficult, and so Hopefully you'll be glad that these videos are now available. So we're going to work on this series. It's going to take us a little while to put it all together, but hopefully in a few weeks to a month or so, we'll have most of those videos on this series up. So that's how we're going to start on this, and hopefully you'll enjoy the videos.